Okay, I want to start this video off by just clarifying what this is going to be about. Because it's a response to uh, Hannibal Barker's new uh, video called This Isn't Funny. And it's about the whole Inspired I Am issue, where she's really, really depressed. And it seemed, it seemed at the time at least, that she was depressed because in Mendham convinced her of antinatalism. And that's all we know. Okay, unless you were privy to the stick -out conversation um, that they supposedly had, then none of us know how he dealt with it, none of us know how he argued. Now, given the way he shouted at his friend, uh, Dinah Boston, I think it's pretty likely that he shouted at Inspired I Am as well. But we can't blame him completely for her depression, because I've seen his tactics, I've seen the way he argues with people. He's, he's shouted at me before in videos. I've been briefly convinced of antinatalism for a while, uh, and I didn't go to the same conclusions. I didn't want to kill myself. I didn't want to end the universe or anything like that. I was just a little bit more passive about the whole issue. So I think it depends on who we're talking to here. Uh, Mendham probably could have been a bit more sensitive, depending on who he's talking to. Um, but when you've been on YouTube for five years and you've come across people like this guy, Hannibal Barker, uh, time and time again for five years, you tend to tire of patient of, of patient debate, and you, you know you probably become a very irritable, haggard individual. Which is why I'm quite um, I'm quite liberal when it comes to Gary's uh, you know, taunts and stuff. Um, the bulk of this video isn't going to be responding to Hannibal Barker because he doesn't talk about me much in this video. Uh, I've watched it one way through, and I was expecting him to talk about me loads. And I think that because Harvey uh, linked me this video, and so um, I thought, oh, he's talking shit about me, what's what's his deal? But I mean, you know, his his rant against me is short, and it's really no different to what other people were angry at me for. Fucking shame on you. Shame on you for defending this guy. I pointed out that people's uh, responses and people's attacks on him for her depression were overblown. Because if we convinced a Christian, right, because he doesn't say what the comment is, he just says I defended him, so th this is the problem. But if we convinced a Christian that there was no heaven, and that Christian became really, really depressed, because, you know, no, they're no longer going to go to Happy Land, we wouldn't be sympathetic. Even if they threatened suicide, I think most of the atheist community would just say things like, yeah, the universe isn't all uh, daisies and roses. You know, the universe is a pretty fucked up place. And there is no afterlife. Get over it, okay? And I think it's inconsistent that we don't have the same reaction to Inspired I Am. That's her name, by the way, Inspired I Am. It's not, um, what is it, Inspiridium? Well, what the fuck is it you keep calling her? Uh, you act like you're her best friend, but you clearly don't even know how to say her username properly. So that's pretty fucking hilarious. Yeah, and the best argument against this that I've seen, well, the only argument against this I've seen, is that, uh, well, Gary isn't justified in telling her in, in telling her all these depressing things because it's not true. Um, but then if, if a Christian said to you, well, it's okay if I tell my kid that there's a hell because, well, there is a hell. Deal with it, you know. You'd get pissed off at that. Just because somebody thinks they're right doesn't really mean that they're justified in going to these extreme measures, right? I mean, you, you'd at least say that, right? Um, so I think we need a bit of consistency here. That's my point. Um, and, you know, we, we can argue with Gary all day, okay? Uh, I, d I don't agree with him anymore. Um, and even when I did, I wasn't that on board with the whole ethelism thing. But, um, the, you know, your, your greatest argument against this is the fact that he's wrong, so he shouldn't say these depressing things because they're not true. Well, that's your opinion. And you need to just deal with the facts as they are. And it's one thing to chastise him for his uh, angry tactics, which I know he has. You know, I've, I've already spoken about this. It's, it's one thing to say, listen, you dealt with the situation badly, but it's another thing to use his tactics as a way to discredit the argument, right? This is one giant ad hom, which is what 90% of the rebuttals to Gary have been, right? And, and that really rubs me the wrong, the wrong way. Whether I agree with someone or I, or I don't, if I see the responses to someone consist mainly of just stupid, oh, how dare you say this, how dare you say that, that's horrible, um... Yeah, I'll get pissed off at that, and I'll find it really, really irritating, because I, I put myself in the same shoes. So anyway, let's just get back to what he's saying about me. That was a bit of a tangent there. Um, but that's the extent that I'm going to defend Gary. 
uh, it's about his tactics. If we're angry at his tactics, fine, but don't be angry at the fact that he made the argument, okay? Sad news is sad news, but if, if, if it is the truth, not saying it is, but if it is the truth, deal with it. It's the fucking truth. You're nothing but a 20-year-old stupid kid and you don't know shit. Okay, well, thank you very much for getting my age right, because most people say I'm like 18, 17, so I take that as a compliment. I don't care if you think his arguments are good. They're not. They're not? Oh, okay, right. I'll write that one down, Mr. Fucking Professor. I mean, really? You're Mr. Fucking Rational Scientific? Oh, look at me, peer-reviewed journals. Mr. Great Man of Expertise. And that's it. I don't care if you think he's right, he's wrong. Fucking lame. Arguments mean to have a point. Well, he does have a point. His point is that there's a net suffering in the universe and that uh, non-existence is preferable to existence because life is mainly suffering. Um, and therefore, it would be optimal to end life, thereby reducing suffering. That's the point. That's the point he's making there. What you can do with that point, the implications of it, I don't know. You know, we have people like A.D. Johnson who advocate the voluntary elimination of, you know, basically people just agreeing not to have babies. Um, that's about as far as you can go. Other than something like China's one-child policy, I don't see this going anywhere any further. Um, but he definitely has a point, regardless of what you can do with that point. He proves no point other than his own uselessness. You should fucking know better. Well, if I'm a stupid kid who doesn't know shit, uh, how could I know better? One of these days, you're going to be an adult. Start acting like one. Start acting like an adult? Remember that one. You know, I have had family members try to commit suicide. Uh, I'm old enough to, to talk about this. Uh, my mother was a drug addict. Um, when I was seven, my mother became a drug addict. Um, she tried to kill herself when I was seven as well. Uh, I think she tried to kill herself another time when I was eight. Uh, yeah, I've had a pretty, really fucked up life. I know the drill when it comes to suicide. Okay, I know the drill. But telling me to grow up when I fucking defend somebody based on his arguments... Fuck off. I mean, really. And we're gonna see a bit of hypocrisy coming from, here, coming from this guy, okay? Because he wants me to grow up and then just listen to this shit. I invite everyone who is watching this right now. To, if you have had uh, videos saved, clips of all the idiotic, stupid things Gary have ever said, I invite you to hold on to them right now, because they may be good evidence in a criminal proceeding. This is not funny. This is someone's life. Well, it's pretty funny what you're about to say now. And he may not value it, but God damn it, myself and many other people do. If life is so goddamn bad, Gary, do us all a fucking favor. Go find a shotgun, put your mouth on it, and pull the trigger. Because as far as I can tell, and as far as I'm concerned, you do the world a fucking favor. And you want me to grow up here? Um, look, if, if you're really good friends with Inspired I Am, I'd understand your rage, but you're really not close. Like, in, in, in terms of internet friendship, I don't see that much between you. Um, so, it looks to me like you're just trying to get your dick in, as always. You're just trying to fucking stick your nose into other people's drama, uh, just to get attention. Um, and which is understandable, because this is a new channel and you probably want to get as much exposure on this as possible. So, hey, you know, that's the game. Um, but there's a comment down here. P people have now seen her latest video where she's clarifying her, you know, her issue. And somebody says, it's clear from her latest video that Imendum isn't the cause of her anguish. And you say, does that change the fact that Gary is uh, a vile uh, catamite? No. I mean, so what? This is just about how much of an asshole Gary is then. This isn't, this isn't about defending her at all, is it? It's just about having to dig at Gary. Um, so yeah, you're just being a fucking drama whore at this point. Anyway, that was a bit depressing. You know, it's never nice dealing with the issue of uh, uh, suicide. Um, so let's let's talk about something a little bit more cheerful, and let's go to uh, you, James, nineteen seventy eight, and check out the comment that he left about me. But uh, yeah, you know, he's just being a dickhead like usual. Um, and you know, he made this video a while ago talking about how he's not going to pay me any attention. Yet here he is talking about me, 
always fucking talking about me. Talking about me in videos, calling me an anarcho-capitalist as usual, even though I've explained that I'm not an anarcho-capitalist to many people. Hannah Walker does this as well, calls me an anarcho-capitalist. Um, I have a series of videos up on my channel right now called What is Mutualism? If you want to hear about mutualism, or at least mutualism from the perspective of Clarence Lee Schwartz, check it out. Um, but don't call me an ANCAP, please. Uh, if you want to know whose views I sympathise with more, I've got the books for you. I was resting the camera on it. Benjamin Tucker, individualist anarchist. Um, Thomas Hodgkin, that's the one in the middle. Pierre Joseph Proudhon, and then Kevin Carson, right? Th those, those are my patron saints. Um, so, you know, if you, if you want to critique my views, or, want to, or, or you want to know what my views are, why don't you just ask me what they are before making these accusations and throwing me into these little bundles, you know? If you clearly don't like me, at least dislike me for the proper reason. Anyway, let me just find the comment first. It's somewhere down here. People have rated up my response to him. It's here. I'll read it out in his voice, because it's funny. Uh, it's, it's this one here. Dear Hannibal, I'm incredibly relieved to read that the woman in question is okay, but having long since washed my hands of Inbendum and his puppet fanboy, secular numerist, invincible numerist, I like new one, whatever the fuck he's calling himself now. Okay, well... Why would you even make that remark? Why would you comment on the fact that I have multiple channels? I mean, I could just as easily say, Oh, I'm going to read a comment by you, James 1978 or Pyrus the God Slayer, or you, James 1978 Forever, or whatever the fuck he's calling himself now. Yeah, you have multiple channels for multiple reasons. I had I Like Newman, then I got suspended for a while, so I had Secular Numinist. Locked out of Secular Numinist, wanted to change. So I have this Spectacular Numinist drama channel, and I have Invincible Numinous for more serious content, where you can find out my views if you care to listen. You know, these channels have purposes. What's wrong with having multiple channels? I don't criticise you for it, dickhead. It's just such an empty fucking comment to make. Why would you even talk about that? Retard. But it is nice to know that I'm on your mind. It is nice to know that you're thinking about me, when you're clearly over me. Sounds gay. I'm disgusted to know that he's still just as vile as he always was, and that people are still defending his geno genocidal bullshit. Um, just as vile as he always was? Are you talking about me? Because I never really did anything bad to you, I just left a couple of nasty comments on your channel. Ooh, because you were being a pretentious, fucking pompous, n clueless idiot. And, you know, still to this day, I think you're a dick, because... You try and justify your cluelessness on ethics by saying, I'm, I'm talking about applied ethics. I'm a legal student. I'm talking about applied ethics. Well, fine. It's fine to talk about applied ethics. But when you're in a debate about philosophy, use the philosophical terms. Otherwise, people are going to leave comments like I did, calling you a clueless retard. Let's continue. Uh, but people are still defending his genocidal bullshit. Well, I hope you're talking about Amendum there, because I, even when I was briefly convinced of antinatalism, I never spoke about it. So I've never advocated genocide. The furthest I think antinatalism will ever go is the whole voluntary extinction um, group, you know, the people who want to just agree to not have kids. Uh, so I hope you are talking about Amendum. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, so you're a dickhead and you're talking nonsense. Uh, so let's have a bit of fun now, shall we? Because if you're going to be obsessed with me and you're going to still talk about me, I guess I deserve to uh, have a little dig at you. Uh, so we're going to have some fun. Uh, you, you say your name is... James Uscroft, you say it all the time in your videos, and uh, I know you are um, friends with somebody who I'm friends with on Facebook, so I've seen your profile briefly, uh, and I know you're into Korean movies and stuff, so it was pretty easy to find your Amazon reviews. <laughs> Fucking hell, man, you have watched so many Korean movies, haven't you? Some of your reviews I thought were quite good, like your review of uh, My Family, you know, the box set about how, you know, it's just, you know, the jump the shark. Yeah, I agree. But let's, this is my favourite review. Let's check it out. Uh, it's Kelly Brooks, uh, A3 Calendar 2008. Here's, here's what he said. Just imagine him saying this. As I mentioned before, my girlfriend was bisexual, and she has a passionate lust for Kelly Brooks. Well, first of all, as you mentioned before, who other than someone like me taking the piss out of you is actually going to read all of your reviews consecutively? This isn't a vlog. These don't appear chronologically. You have to actually click on your profile to check them out. When people read this, it's going to be on this particular calendar. Like, what? Do you think you're some kind of fucking journalist or something? What? 
Why would you even say that? And you always talk about how she's bisexual. You've, you have mentioned it on your other, on the other calendar reviews. But let's just let's just listen to, to him saying this. So even now, I sometimes see her sighing and longing as she looks at the photo for August in this calendar. A beautiful picture of Kelly Brook posing in a skimpy red bikini. So if Kelly ever chooses to make a special K advert, I only hope that they'll decide to release it on the internet and DVD. Why do you do this? Um, and you talk about, this is another thing that winds me up about you, you talk about your sexual fetish for Asian women, which is fine, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. And, you know, you have a girlfriend who is Caucasian, that's fine. But then you talk about it to her. And she says she's fine with it. Okay. I believe she said that. But you still don't say it. You don't. It's like if you had a fat girlfriend. And then you kept saying, Oh, I'd prefer a thinner one, though, but you'll do. It's just weird. So, yeah, you're just a fucking weirdo, mate. Um, you know, I have my problems. I have my own sexual hang-ups and stuff, but... Uh, yeah, you just creep me the fuck out, you know, um, I think that's it, I, th I think I, I think I've done my business, uh, yeah, you left a silly comment, I responded to the comment, and then pointed out how stupid you were on Amazon, yeah, that'll, that'll do, I think that'll do for a video, so, Hannibal Barker, fuck you with two fingers, you James, fuck you with one, I think that's a more powerful one, because Hannibal Barker wasn't so bad, you're just being dramatic, but you James, you know, I just fucking hate you, James.